<sighs> Shoot. I see this happen far more often to CNC router owners than is necessary. Especially when you're talking a $30 or $40 CNC router bit. Let's talk about how to protect your CNC router bits. Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I want to welcome you to the short little video about how to protect your CNC router bits from these kind of events that inevitably are going to happen to us. I have received more emails from people who have dropped their bits by accident and had to replace them when they didn't need to. I mean, accidents happen, but how do you stop this from happening? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of tips right here. The first one is the second you take your router bit out of your CNC router, put it back in the container that it came in, just like that. Now, I'm aware that some CNC router bits come in bags or come in these bulk holders with all the different router bits. That's okay, but bags are not okay because they're not as convenient. But the good thing about being able to put them back in the containers, you don't have to worry about the bit. Okay, so let's just say you're not as perfect as that like me, where sometimes you'll set your bit off to the side and then it likes to roll off the table. Well, that's where you come in with a little CNC router bit holder like this. It's very easy to make and when your bit comes out, you immediately put it in the holder. So just make a bunch of quarter inch holes for your bits and eighth inch holes for your eighth inch router bits and you'll have a place to put it. This is something I provide with the CNC router bit starter set that comes with the IDC Woodcraft CNC router bit starter set with a bunch of other files. Now there's one other thing that you need to do. Yes, I suggest that before you take your bit out of your CNC router, just put a rag underneath. That way the bit will just land on the rag, nice soft surface, and not get damaged, not have the potential to roll off. Very simple things that we can do to protect our $40 CNC router bits. So if this tip was helpful, give me a thumbs up. I also have a quick, quick favor I want you to do for me if you will. I want to know how I'm doing on this channel and how I've helped you and how I can do better. I get a lot of emails from people. Some people say I'm doing awesome. Some people say I need to do this and this and this. So the best thing I can do to get my finger on the pulse of you to see how I'm doing is to ask you to fill out a little five question survey that has questions like, how good am I doing? What am I doing exceptionally well? What do I need to improve on? And a couple of the questions. If you would please just take a second to fill that survey out. I would really, really appreciate it. There's a link down below in the description and the first comment. You just click it, it'll take you to the survey. You'll be done in about one minute. There we go. How to protect your CNC router bits from breaking, from falling on the floor. Put them in the packages as soon as you get them out of your CNC router. Put some kind of soft surface underneath before you actually loosen the collet up because the bit is going to drop out. And make a holder. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft.